All right, so you've been thinking about putting coilovers on your Focus ST, all right? This is uh, video for you. So we're gonna go over how to put these on. Cut so, <laughs> yeah, that, that's what you start off doing. So these are obviously the rears right here. So this is kind of gonna be how the uh, rear coilover setup sits. You know, the adjuster sits on the bottom and you know, you got the strut. So, I'm gonna show you the front. The front, oh, the front is kind of like a uh, Volkswagen setup. Very similar to it because it slides into the knuckle. So you know this, if you look over here, so I'm gonna replace this one because those threads apparently are messed up and that was stuck in there. So, you can look, it just, you know, just slides in there, so. I'm gonna go over the rear and tell you how to do that and then move to the front. Um, it's kind of like, probably like a three, four hour job if you do it yourself. If you have friends, two hours. If you've done it, if you know what you're doing, it's pretty simple. So to start off with the rear, um, what I recommend doing is taking off this bolt right here to drop the lower control and you're gonna have to loosen up the eccentric bolt. You have to loosen it, you don't have to loosen it too far just so this can drop and take the spring out, put the this spring set up in and you're all good to go and then with the shock i would recommend jacking it up loosening this is a 15 this is also a 15 down here uh take off this 15 and there's two 13s you can't really see up there but two 13s up there and then uh go from there it's uh, really really simple i have to cut these because i broke the bolt in the other one and i'm not gonna even try taking this one off not even a fucking try. So yeah, there's that and that. All right, well, I already cut the spring. I don't know why the time lapse didn't catch that, but taking off this shock as well. Um, with the shock, I used a half inch Mac breaker bar ratchet thingy with like two quiable extensions on a short 15 because that's what works and the area sucks. And then, yeah, I already cut the springs as you can see from me prying on the lower control. I'm trying to get them out. All right, so with the tight space over here, what you're going to do is take off the clamp bolt right here. Um, there are special sockets, spreader sockets. Do you have that over here? No, I don't. Basically, what you're going to do is take off the axle, the lower ball joint, and so yeah, basically, uh, I got this socket from FCP Euro and it's kind of like a oval thing. So you put it like this and then you turn it like that and it opens the clamp up to uh, open the fucking, you know, the clamp up. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of, what I did on the R is kind of pounded right here. Mm -hmm. I tried that on the other side and it didn't go. Really? Yeah. You gotta fucking go at it. You might it. have to go at it because you, um, you got the hit. Yeah, but yeah. You be hitting different boys. Hit right here. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, this bolt, way about end link too. On the other side, I had to actually like get a new knuckle. Because yeah. This yeah. The threads on this. Does, like, does. Yeah, I kind of showed that earlier, but so all the new knuckle over here and wheel bearing and hub and all that, all spicy and, and yeah, you have that. So what's this big metal piece for? I don't know. It was on the other side? It was on there? Or maybe yeah. it was I guess so. Yeah. Oh, wait. Don't forget to uh, tighten everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so uh, the bolts we use, since you bought, kind of bought these used, um, they're exhaust manifold stud nuts from a Volkswagen from, uh, let's see, that motor over there. So you pretty much don't want the rear. Tighten down the shock. That's it. Yeah, no, it's just compressed. Yeah. So I can tighten it. Oh, it's not tight. Yeah. Okay. So apparently, a socket, that spreader socket didn't fit, so we just kind of chisel one there. This uh, time lapse is a little bit longer. As you can see, Connor's going at it for the front coilover. Um, he, I told him to heat it up and spray PB Blaster uh, around like the, where the clamp is on the knuckle or where like the top knuckle is, top part of the knuckle. 
And he, it was probably like 15, 20 minutes of just straight pounding it. I went in at it a little bit. Um, because none of the chisels didn't work. The uh, spreader tool didn't work either. So it was a lot of heat and a lot of pounding. Um, this car used to have coilovers too, which is interesting. All right. Looks like, you know, you know, you know, you know. Looks like kind of bad at all. I took a little, a couple swings at it, but apparently you don't need to open it up. You just fucking hit it. Yeah. So now that I've taken this off, putting the BC in, yeah. Let's just see all the, yeah. It's a little warm. I think it's fine. Yeah. There you go. So, connor has got the coil over him. Um, you kind of need to take a look at the fucking the top thingy. Isn't there a bottom piece to this? Not anymore. Yeah, there is. But yeah, so it's you more sound than it was. Gotcha. But you can see he has a, an intake in there and a side beam too. Yeah. A lot of heat wrap stuff back here. I've yeah, it's two, definitely a race car. It definitely makes a lot of horsepower. I've gone no, through no, two no, cooler no. lines <laughs> and I went through my O2 um, cables. So I've limp mode this car three times. Oh man. It's a Ford though. What they do best. Fix and repair daily. I, I, I think it's a Ford. You need fix and repair. repair daily? Four. No, fix or repair daily. Ford. You can spell Ford, Andy. Fard. Fard. <laughs> yeah. It's a Fard Faust. <laughs> Fard Faust. At least it's not a fist. Wheels are finally on! It doesn't need wheels. No. I normally just drive my car with brake rotors. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it keeps on going. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's fine. And then you have to do the thing you did with the raising it up with the, uh, when you raise it up, you know, yeah, that's you gotta do it. Right now. Where am I gonna lift? Oh, lift it from the middle first. This thing kind of fucks. We got a AC, a little AC with 10,000 AC race unit with the fan. It's very like heat for How many degrees do you think it's cooler over here versus Yeah, if you have a 5x1 away from it. I don't need the key for that. I can literally just fucking stick a socket, a 12 point socket on there and steal it. I don't think you can. Oh, well, I took these lock keys off with normal sockets before it worked. Really? No. Here. Oh my god. Yeah, or it's. No, no, no. I want to find one that fits now. Just fucking two kind of wrong. So then. You put a jack on that side and slowly lower it. You lower this. <laughs> that side needs to be up a little bit so you can get the jack out one from under it. Yeah, it's from the front. 
go for it. Oh my god! Oh no, bro. Oh, shit. I Yeah. I want lower. You can. Uh, you're gonna have to buy some nice jacks for that. <laughs> Put, it the, Put it through the floor. Put it through the floor. <laughs> Static life. I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty low. You can, you can go. I don't know how much floor you can go in the front though. Hmm? 